What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel Critical Overload here. So I'm talking about Scream 7 in this video here today. So we're going to be doing a follow up to my last Scream 7 video where I was talking about the plans in place for Jenna Ortega if they are going forward with her still being involved in Scream 7. Now, I do want to shout out Are You Entertained from Instagram, who is now corroborating a bit of what I stated about Scream 7's plans for Miss Ortega. I'll leave a link to their page in the description. And before I go any further, I'll just address this right up top for anyone who's already asking, of course. Who is Are You Entertained? Well, they seem to be a very informed individual with a great track record for details on films that are upcoming. And here's some of the examples of the times they've been correct. On May 11th of this year, they revealed that Catherine Newton would be in the upcoming Radio Silence film with Melissa Barrera. And that got confirmed the following day on May 12th. So that's why that's very significant to consider. Back in 2021, they posted that Juju Journey Brenner would be starring in Hocus Pocus 2. And then on Halloween that year, Disney Plus confirmed that. In July this year, they heard that Mean Girls musical might be headed to theaters. And then in September this year, that announcement of course, became official from outlets like Deadline and other reliable, reputable outlets. So you see, they have a track record going on. I just wanted to get that out of the way to set them up before I go into what they're now disclosing about Scream 7, because this isn't coming from me. They're just corroborating a tidbit of what I put out and giving us a lot more. So the update for Scream 7 is this. Scream 7 and Jenna Ortega's role, which could obviously still go either way once these strikes are over. They put out on their Instagram story that they said they believe what Critical Overlord has heard is kind of correct. A limited role is most likely the best case scenario for Jenna's screen time in Scream 7. But Paramount has a version of this movie with terror in it a small amount. And they did mean to put small amount because as some of you might notice as you're reading this, one says zero, one says not at all, which of course is the same thing. I reached out for context and they meant to say one has terror in it a small amount one has no terror in it at all and then another version of the of the film would have terror back as a lead again so no decision will be 100 percent made until after the strikes and they went on to talk about how nobody has a schedule in place of course so the interesting and significant thing there is that it at least corroborates what i was saying about the limited role and then the other more important thing is that we at least know that paramount has backup plans in place in case things do change for Jenna Ortega. And if the filming start time allows them to get to use more of her, they have a version of the story where she's the lead. They have a version of the story where she's not needed and have things in place just in case if she's not able to do it at all, you can just go ahead and say, okay, well, sorry, we're going to miss out on you, Miss Jenna Ortega, but we're ready to start filming and get this movie out. And then they'll just go from there. Obviously, I think a lot of us would prefer to have Tara back as a lead. Granted, some of you I know didn't really like Tara's inclusion in Scream 6. I've seen so many people lately over on social media talk about how Tara was like a weak link in the film. While I can agree to some to some aspects of that, I, th I still think that they have an opportunity to do something significant with her in Scream 7. Whether that can be done in the smaller role or the co-lead role, once again, that's up for debate. I do think that, yes, there could be something very substantial you could do and significant if she has a limited role, if you if you utilize it correctly. Limited role doesn't have to be a cameo appearance a la Randy in Scream 3 or anything like that. It doesn't need to be that limited small role can still be significant if it's utilized in a way to create a sense of urgency for all the other characters who love and care for her if something happens to her or again if she gets kidnapped but again i know most people would prefer to see her back full time sharing the sharing the lead role with sam my thing though is would they then also simultaneously share it with sydney Will we have a situation where we have multiple co-leads and then, of course, the supporting players, Mindy, Chad, Gail, Kirby, and whatever other newbies are in the mix and returning stars like Mark Kincaid and whoever else decides to come back. Or, again, newbies like Christina, who have been mentioned since Screen 5, but this would make her a newbie since it will be her first time we hopefully get to see this woman. I know that the preferred thing, again, is for her to be back full time with Sam. I, however, was told that they seem to be sticking with her being in a limited capacity, in a limited role. That seems to be what they've settled on. However, again, 
that's not to say that they can't change it. Obviously, they can still change it because nothing is locked until once they decide to say, OK, we're ready to get this thing going. What are you going to do, Jenna? You in 100 percent. What can you do? What will your schedule allow? Depending on what her schedule will allow, that seems to be the version of the film we will end up getting, which to some of you might be a duh. But at least we now have someone corroborating and filling in some blanks about Jenna's details, which I have no problem believing because of their track record. I'll leave a link to their Instagram down in the comment section below. There's three different versions, apparently, of Scream 6 that are already ready to go. One with Tara having a small role, one with no Tara, and one with Tara back as a lead. And for everyone that keeps saying, well, how do we know the script is written? Keep in mind, Viewer Anon was already saying that they were deep in the writing process. Viewer Anon was the one who was saying that they wanted the film out by October of 2024. That stuff was true. We know that Christopher Landon signed on prior to the strikes. There's no doubt in my mind that they have a script ready. Now I'm finding out that they apparently have multiple scripts ready. Just because there's a strike ongoing doesn't mean that there wasn't a script already prepared for Scream 7. The script was already prepared and it was ready to go. Things were moving in the right direction. Then the strikes occurred, so things became stalled. Obviously, once the strikes are over, if they're still writing, that's just them going back and doing some tweaking and revising it. That doesn't mean that the scripts weren't ready. They're just taking the time to go back and revise some things because Obviously, during a strike, you have time to reconsider some stuff and go back to the drawing board. Nothing wrong with that. But the scripts were 100 percent ready. Paramount's just trying to f fast track the film. So things were ready. Definitely ready. I don't I have no reason to believe they weren't ready if you're trying to fast track another movie that quickly. But moving into the last topic I wanted to discuss here, I'm going to talk about Final Destination 6 with you guys, because Chandler or are you entertained I want to refer to him as because that's what his page is called they put out something back in July where they shared that Rebecca Staub or Staub has been cast in Final Destination Bloodlines now we recently learned that Tony Todd would be returning to the Final Destination series in Bloodlines they put out back in July that Rebecca Staub has been cast in Final Destination Bloodlines. Keep in mind, Final Destination Bloodlines is supposed to be about a woman named Esther and her family now battling death because death has returned for this family after Esther saved others from a tower collapse and herself back in the 60s. A woman named Stephanie has a premonition and she sees her family dying in a fire and then of course the same formula would play out but with some twink some tweaks to it apparently from what we've been hearing about the film and we also know of course there's apparently going to be a tattoo parlor kill that might change the experience many people have when it comes to getting a tattoo so that was a nice tidbit to run across on their page i'll actually put out a tweet about this because the, apparently Rebecca Stolb is another cast member for, for Final Destination 6. You guys let me know what you think about all this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notifications so you never miss a video. In the description, I'll have links on my social media accounts. I am on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course. Let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.